Lightweight, low cost and endlessly versatile, plastic has transformed our lives. It is also petroleum based and 70 years on from the plastic revolution, it now contaminates the entire planet from the summit of Mount Everest to the deepest oceans. Now, powerful forces are combining to turn the tide of plastic pollution. In 2022, 175 countries approved an historic resolution to develop the first legally binding United Nations Agreement to end plastic pollution. So how do we do that? More than 400 million tonnes of plastic are now produced each year, equivalent to the mass of the global population. And the enormous growth rate of plastic has overwhelmed waste management infrastructures. Of the 8.5 billion tonnes of plastic ever produced, only a fraction has found its way into a circular loop. This waste translates to an annual economic loss of $120 billion. A materials revolution needs to happen. Better materials, collecting, sorting, recycling, delivery. Only if all elements are improved can we have a truly circular system. French company Carbios may be on the verge of scaling up a novel recycling solution. Plastic munching enzymes that feed on 80% of plastic waste that is not currently recyclable. Their enzyme takes plastic back to its initial components, which can be made into new virgin plastic. On the other end of the spectrum, Dutch company Mantis Spectra are trialling a microsensor that could open a new era for recycling, where large-scale, rapid material classification is possible. The huge gains to be made in efficiency could transform this industry. Technological innovation, customer demand, brand commitments and policy changes mean that circular plastic now represents an attractive opportunity for investors, which is good news. In order to revolutionise our material use and reduce primary use and extraction by 28% over the next decade, investors will need to play a large role. A 2023 report from the UN Environment Programme predicts that global plastic pollution could be slashed by 80% by 2040 if stakeholders implement the changes necessary. The changes, which are not costly nor impractical, could bring benefits worth trillions of dollars over the next 20 years, reducing the damage caused by plastics to health, the climate and the environment.